Okay guys, so you've got your images in and there's a few things that I need to show you. This is the last thing with images and that is some of the attributes that we have with images. Now, you will already have learnt two attributes, okay? Width and height. So that one we got done, that's covered, easy peasy, no problemo. And uh, you can see here is my first image, okay? Where I chose the logo and then I, I forced the width and the height of the image. Obviously, in best practice, this is not how we do it, but for HTML beginning, this is all good. Okay, so let's have a look at what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Okay, there it is there. And then my second image down at the bottom. So a few other attributes that we can add to our images. One of them is the alignment feature. What if we didn't want to have this image there um, just and then the text below? What if we wanted the image and then the text next to it? So we can align the image to the left of the text. And that is the align. There you go. Um, thing, thing, what's the word? Um, attribute, <laughs> sorry. The align attributes. Yes, that's what I meant. Attribute. Align equals left. So let's see what that does. Okay, by setting this attribute align equals left. I'm going to save that. I'm going to refresh and check what happens. Okay, it gets pushed to the left and everything else then starts on to its right and it carries on down. So that's what align equals left means. Okay, let's add an align to the right of the other picture. Why not? So we go here, go down to here. Image source is there. Width, height, fantastic. Align equals right. There we go. Align equals right. Save that. Let's have a look. Refresh. And that's what that does. Okay, so you kind of get the idea of what's going on. Let's just uh, move that a little bit there. There you go. So you get the idea, don't you? Another attribute that I want to show you is called the alt attribute. Alt. Let me show you what it means. Alt means alternative. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say alt equals and I'm going to say uh, school. Uh, take off my caps lock school logo. There we go. Alt equals school logo. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to refresh. Okay. Now you will notice that you don't see anything. You don't see anything that says alt or school logo or anything like that. But if someone's uh, images on their web page were not loading correctly or someone is perhaps using a text-based browser or an audio browser, like people who, who don't see so well might have browsers that read what is on the page back to them. And I'm going to switch off images. In this browser, I can actually toggle images. I'm going to switch off images and I'm just going to refresh the page. And as you can see, the image didn't load. You can see there's the broken image there, but the alt text that I created, school logo, is there where the image is supposed to be. So that means I can actually put a little bit of information about what the image is. This is for accessibility. Okay, that's what it means. It just means I'm making my web page more accessible to more people, and it's actually very, very useful. So I'm going to switch that back on. Okay, and there you go. Another attribute, which is also nice to use, is called title. Title. And what I normally do is if I, when I used to do web pages, you know, and all that stuff, I used to do alt and title together because, watch what I'm going to do here. So title is when you move your mouse over an image, some text pops up to tell you about the image and have a look. I'm going to refresh. Okay. I move my mouse onto the image and school logo pops up. There you go as a title or a, like a tooltip sort of text. Okay. So that's what that does. So that is the various attributes we have so far. We've got width, height, align, alt and title. The last one I can show you and let's do it to the image that is on the right hand side of the bottom there and that is the border, the border feature. So I can say border equals one. Okay, and I'm going to save that. I'll show you what border equals one does. It puts a border on the image of one pixel in thickness. Okay, 
Let's change it and make it a little bit bigger. Let's make like border equals three. Border equals three. Just switch and refresh. And there you can see the border is, is now three points or three pixels. Uh, I think it's pixels. And there you go. So guys, there you go. That is what we have in terms of extra attributes for images. We've got not just width and height. We've got a line, alt, title, and border.